Before I switched to the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the iPhone 14 Pro Max was my daily driver. Almost half a year has already passed since its release. It's time to tell you about the long experience of using a smartphone, especially since now there is something to compare this device with. Despite the fact that my two SIM cards are in the Galaxy S23 Ultra, I continue to carry the iPhone 14 Pro Max with me and use it as a universal portable camera. You will ask why? you have the Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is one of the best camera phone in the world. The first reason is video recording. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is still better at this task. It has better detail, it has more natural color and most importantly, videos shot on the iPhone 14 Pro look better after you upload them to social networks, whether it's Instagram, TikTok or YouTube. Also, for a reason unknown to me, photos and videos taken on the iPhone are normally processed in edited application, but files taken on Samsung often cause the system and application to freeze. Apparently Android phones using some kind of non-standard codec. And besides, the iPhone 14 Pro Max without SIM cards works for almost a week without recharging. This is what a smartphone looks like in its original case purchased from the official Apple Store. It's a 70 bucks leather case that doesn't turn out to be real leather. Knowing how beautifully the skin is ages, but in the case of a leather substitute, this didn't not happen. By the way, the case supports MagSafe and this is something that Android phones really lack. Magnets are the best solution that came with phones in recent years. I don't use protective glasses and films for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, its screen is sufficiently protected. As you can see, there is no scratches on the screen of my iPhone and the phone still looks like new. If I used a rubberized case, the dust that gets under the case could scratch it, but the proprietary soft case prevents this from happening. The the biggest strange thing about the design of the iPhone 14 Pro Max is the camera. There is always a lot of dust and lint clutched between the lenses. It is almost impossible to completely clean it out of there. And the base of the iPhone 14 Pro Max camera looks like a mirror, so all this dirt is very noticeable. Over the past six months, the big iPhone 14 Pro Max has become my go-to book reader. Its display is ideal for long text reading without getting tired of the eyes. I tried reading on the Pixel 7 Pro Galaxy Galaxy S22 and 23 Ultra, there is no such comfort for the eyes as on the iPhone, on any phone. Yes, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has a prettier display, but on the iPhone the image looks softer and more comfortable in any light. I bought an iPhone 14 Pro Max for 256 GB and uh, this was not enough. Frequent use of the camera, shooting photos in RAW and recording videos forced me to pay 10 bucks for 2 terabytes of iCloud space. Dynamic Island turned out to be a very convenient system for working with system notification and running applications. Now, this is not a killer feature, it's just a beautifully played step forward, which you get used to very quickly. And if you quickly get used to the function, it means that it was done correctly. I really look forward to Dynamic Island in the iPhone 15. But most of all, I look forward to USB Type-C and now I will explain why. First, the data transfer speed. The need to quickly move very large amounts of data using a cable has not disappeared. And doing this on the iPhone 14 Pro Max is very long and inconvenient. Secondly, the universal connector in the iPhone suggests itself. Since the iPad is already charging from Type-C, the MacBook 2, it's time for the iPhone. I'm happy to say goodbye to the old cable format. But I don't complain about the charging speed in the iPhone 14 Pro Max, it suits me just fine. Chinese phones make fast charges at 250 watts and even at 300 watts. But this requires a very large power supply, which is no longer convenient. And also the rate of battery degradation increases. My iPhone 14 Pro Max, after 6 months of charging a smartphone from a 
car charger and from a laptop still has about 100% battery health and the phone charges from 20 to 80% in half an hour. This is a very good indicator for such careful use of the battery. Camera. There is an opinion that the cameras in the iPhone have not changed much in recent years and that the quality of the picture is not proportional to the physical increase in the camera. In fact, the camera in the iPhone has changed a lot. But there is an important nuance. If you use automatic shooting mode, your photos will be so processed that sometimes it's even scary how much the image on the smartphone screen differs from that you photographed. Sky color, material color, detail and structure. The iPhone, like all modern phones, completely changed the reality around you. In the iPhone 14 Pro Max, the degree of change in the image has reached its peak. Sometimes during the shooting you look at the the result, then you look at the object in real life and understand that in real life it does not look as clear as in the photo. On the other hand, the iPhone 14 Pro Max has a RAW mode and if you understand photography and the process of shooting, this phone can take incredibly beautiful pictures with further professional processing. I tried many RAW modes on different Android phones, no other phone gives such a result for photo manipulation. In many usage scenarios, the iPhone 14 Pro Max is still the fastest phone on the market. The speed of the interface is light and fast. The only scenario where the iPhone can give in is some mobile games. With ProLogic Mobile Gaming, the phone starts to heat up and the screen brightness automatically decreases. The performance of the smartphone does not to drop, but the screen becomes dim. If this is important to you, it is probably better to choose another smartphone. I will most likely buy the iPhone 15 Pro this year, but not a max version. I am very tired of big phones. Buying a big phone is not a problem, but only Apple can create a convenient compact smartphone. And here is why. The iOS system looks just as good on the 6.1 inch screen as it does on the big screen. Third-party mobile apps on iOS work and look better than on any Android phone. Phones Padding all interface elements are made neater on iOS and this applies to any iPhone. To be honest, I would not recommend buying the iPhone 14 Pro Max right now. It is still very expensive and in 6 months there will be a really important update for all iPhones. If you are not looking to buy a flagship phone, look at cheaper model. If you are not looking to buy a flagship phone, Look at the cheaper model, for example, a regular iPhone 14 or an iPhone 13 Pro and save money and still buy a phone that will work for another 5 years. So guys, thanks for watching, subscribe to the channel and don't miss a new video. Bye!